Hi, this is Sarah Labor. I'm an MSN student at Eastern Kentucky University, and this is a PowerPoint presentation on depression in adults. Depression is a condition that affects 350 million people worldwide. Depression in adults is a common psychiatric disorder, and despite a usual course of treatment with medications such as antidepressants, sometimes depression is not successfully treated and becomes a chronic condition. Mindful-based cognitive therapy, or MBCT, has been developed that incorporates mindful-based interventions as a course of treatment in fighting depression. It can be described as a non-judgmental awareness of the present moment and includes exercises such as meditation and cognitive behavior techniques. MBCT strengthens cognitive control of emotional regulation. Those participating in MBCT allow and acknowledge negative emotions and thoughts without any judgment from self or providers. Through this, those in treatment can recognize their own patterns and create awareness of their behavior. In the United States at the primary care setting, depression is diagnosed in 5 to 13 percent of patients. However, about 50 percent of primary care patients with depression are underdiagnosed or just undiagnosed. Depression does not discriminate against sex or age. There's an increase in prevalence in females and individuals living below the poverty level with approximately 19% of adults and 8% of teenagers experiencing depression, it is imperative that the primary health care providers and the advanced practice nurses recognize and treat this disorder. In a study conducted by Eisendrath, Gillung, DeLucci, Segal, Nelson, McInnes, Mathalon, and Feldman, um, there was a random, randomized control trial of mindfulness-based cognitive therapy for treatment-resistant depression. Participants in this study were randomly assigned to two groups. The first group was assigned to the MBCT group, and that included two, and a half, two hours and 15 minute sessions once per week over the course of eight weeks. In the MBCT sessions, they utilized um, cognitive control of emotion regulation. It was thought that by achieving control, meditation may lessen ruminative processes with the intent to lessen depression. The second group was assigned to the health enhancement program that also met for two hours and 15 minutes once a week for eight weeks. The um, health enhancement program focused on aerobic exercise, functional movement, music therapy, and dietary education. Um, each group were followed for one year and assessed at, the, uh, at weeks one through eight, week 24, 36, and at 52. The participants in the study were evaluated with the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale. It, this is a um, standardized 17-item interview that measures the number and severity of depress depressive symptoms. The HAMD, also known as the HAMD, it was utilized at baseline, week 4, and week 8 in both intervention groups. Examining the change in depression severity was the primary outcome of the study, and the HAMD-17 provided the ne necessary tool for the success of the study. Results of the study revealed that the MBCT intervention group showed a considerable greater mean percent reduction in the HAMD-17 scores compared to the HEP intervention. There was also a significant higher rate of treatment responders in the MBCT group compared to the um, health enhancement program. In a second study um, conducted by Alderin, Giomi, Spinhoven, Berendret, and Speckens, it was also a randomized control trial about the um, efficiency of the MBCT in depressed patients. Participants in the study were identified as having three or more depressive episodes and were assigned again in one, to two one of two intervention groups. The first group consisted of MBCT in conjunction with treatment alone, and then the second interview group comprised of just treatment alone. Um, they examined rumination, worry, and mindfulness skills as mediators for reducing depressive symptoms in MBCT. Um, the MBCT plus the treatment alone group focused on eight weekly group sessions lasting two and a half hours each. The treatment alone group utilized, u that utilized antidepressant medication, they were required to be on a stable d dose of the antidepressant for at least six weeks and had to maintain this dose throughout the study. Each group was also followed and reassessed at the at weeks three, six, nine, and twelve month. I'm sorry, at the twelve month mark. To measure the goal of the study, the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale was also utilized. Results of the study concluded that the participants in the MBCT plus treatment alone intervention group report, reported less depressive symptoms than using than the treatment alone group. Um, worry and rumination were also lower in the MBCT group. 
and there was also improved levels of mindfulness skills compared to the inter compared to the treatment alone group. The information and outcomes of these studies for nursing practice is invaluable. MBCT is an alternative treatment to consider in conjunction with other modalities for depression. These studies both assist in, provi in providing more information about MBCT and supply patients with an enhanced understanding of how MBCT works. MBCT appears to have definite effects that make it a useful treatment for patients with treatment-resistant depression, especially because patients with treatment-resistant depression are interested in learning about non-pharmacological approaches. They want to overcome depression. And new studies such as, the, as these MBCTs in the place of medication management may play a vital role in depression. As an advanced practice nurse, it is vital to be current and aware of other treatment options for depression. It is the responsibility of the advanced practice nurse to be knowledgeable in treatment options and provide the best routes to patients. By utilizing information obtained from these studies, it will improve patient outcomes. Based on these findings of the aforementioned studies, nurses should use this evidence in practice to not just prescribe antidepressant medications, but refer patients to MBCT in order to promote, to promote better outcomes. This evidence-based intervention could potentially better the lives of depressed patients. The environment where practice change could be implemented by the, the advanced practice nurse is in the primary setting. Referrals can be utilized to mental health um, nurse practitioners as well as psychiatric, psychiatrists specializing in MBCT. Thank you.